Will Mauritius and Reunion get impacted by a cyclone this month? To make sure you don't miss any important updates, subscribe and turn on notifications. This is a bit of a different video than normal. Rather than a typical tropical update, this is a tropical outlook, similar to the seasonal forecast I made for this season back in November. This outlook provides a long-range perspective on potential tropical cyclone activity in the southwest Indian Ocean. It's important to understand that this is not a short-term forecast, but rather a discussion of potential trends based on current and anticipated atmospheric and oceanic conditions. It involves a degree of speculation about what might be expected, not a definitive prediction of what will happen. The southwest Indian Ocean cyclone season is here, and conditions are becoming ripe for tropical storm development. After a short lull, several things are happening that could increase the risk. The Indian Ocean subtropical dipole, which had been keeping cyclones at bay, is weakening. This change, along with a well-placed intertropical convergence zone, where winds meet and storms often form, and warm ocean waters, makes it easier for tropical cyclones to develop. Right now, we're watching two main areas, one south of the Mozambique Channel and the other east of the main basin. These areas could pose a threat to Madagascar, Mozambique, and the Mascarene Islands, including Mauritius and Reunion. It's really important to remember that these are just potential development zones, and we don't yet know exactly where any future cyclones will go or how strong they will get. Looking ahead to mid-February, the chances of tropical storms forming are most likely west of 70 degrees east. But storms can form anywhere over the basin. As the subtropical anticyclone weakens, we could see a variety of cyclone paths, including more direct north-south tracks and curved, looping tracks. Both kinds of paths can be dangerous for populated areas. The next names in line for tropical cyclones in this region are Garance, Honde, and Yvon. Another factor we're watching is the Madden-Julian Oscillation. The MJO is a large-scale weather pattern that travels around the tropics and can influence cyclone activity. It's basically a pulse of enhanced and suppressed rainfall and winds. The MJO is showing signs of becoming more active in the southwest Indian Ocean around early to mid-March. This means we could also expect tropical activity to increase in this region around a similar time, perhaps mid to late March. Because this is a long-range outlook, not a short-term forecast, we can't say for sure exactly where cyclones will go or when they will form. But people in Mauritius and Reunion and the surrounding countries should use this information to get ready for potential severe weather. Double-check your emergency plans, make sure you have enough supplies in your emergency kit, and keep an eye on your local weather forecasts as the season goes on. Staying informed, even about what might happen, is key to keeping communities safe during cyclone season. That's all for today. Subscribe and turn on notifications to stay informed of any developments. You can also share this information to help keep others safe. Stay safe and see you soon.